will be one, but this one presentation will be given by two people. So, <laughs> so uh, Chris will start and I'll continue. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I will give the presentation on the uh, fact sheets of uh, classes of decision analysis uh, together with Professor Dimitri Evel. First, uh, this is the outline of this uh, presentation. There are mainly three parts. The first is a general over overview, uh, which, introduce, uh, which includes the uh, scope of the fact sheets the application areas, the uh, critical appraisal, and the second is the basic theory parts, which uh, consists of the uh, decision tree, the decision based on the prior information, uh, that is the prior analysis, and decision based on the additional information, that is the posterior analysis, and the decision based on the unknown information, that is the pre-posterior uh, analysis, and finally, uh, the uh, value of information is defined. Uh, the first, about the scope of these fact sheets, uh, this fact sheet is uh, mainly focused on three uh, different uh, classes of decision analysis. The first, uh, the prior analysis, the posterior analysis, and the uh, pre-posterior analysis, uh, among which the last one, the pre-posterior analysis, uh, will be considered in detail and uh, will be uh, presented later by uh, Professor uh, Dimitri. And also, uh, the value of the information is defined in these uh, fact sheets. Uh, about the uh, application areas of the decision analysis, uh, since the Bayesian uh, decision analysis is for optimizing the collection of information, uh, which leads to a better decision uh, process, uh, its application in uh, civil engineering field uh, lay the basis for the uh, computation of the value of information for optimizing the inspections and the SHM, mon uh, SHM in the deteriorating uh, structures. And also, it is widely uh, applied to other fields such as the transportation in infrastructure management, geotechnical uh, in engineering, uh, natural hazards, and so on. Uh, detail about these applications can uh, refer to the fact sheets. Uh, about the uh, critical appraisal, uh, the advantage of using the uh, posterior and uh, pre-posterior analysis, uh, it takes into account the uncertainties in the uh, decision-making process and this will give a uh, well-considered and uh, structured way for making the optimal decisions under uh, uncertainty. But also it has some drawbacks. For example, it sometimes uh, requires significant computational efforts and uh, statistical modeling, and this can be uh, cumbersome if we want to apply this methodology to practical applications. Uh, the second part is the basic theory. First, uh, the uh, definition of the decision tree. The decision tree, as indicated in this feature, uh, it is a decision a support tool that uses the uh, tree-like graph to, uh, to make the decision and uh, uh, there are consequences. And uh, it mainly consists of far, uh, five parts. The first, the in de, uh, inspection decisions, E. It is uh, the uh, set of possible ins inspection actions. For example, the uh, inspection date, type of inspection, location, and so on. And uh, the second note is the, uh, that it is the uh, inspection outcomes, which followed by the inspection decisions. And uh, it consists of the set of uh, inspection outcomes which provide information on the actual structural states. And uh, after uh, knowing the uh, inspection or uh, uh, inspection outcomes, certain actions can be uh, made. For example, do nothing, repair, or replace some part of this structure. And uh, finally, 
uh, set is the structural states. It is a set of structural states representing different uh, levels of damages. Uh, of course, these are uh, usually time dependent. And uh, the combination of the first four uh, nodes gives the value, use, or utility of the, uh, of the path that uh, followed. So this, is, this utility is what we call the uh, yeah, value of information. And uh, based on this decision tree, we can uh, do the prior analysis. That is the decision based, made based on the uh, prior information. And the prior analysis is a uh, situation when decision is to be made based on the pre previously available, often uh, generic information. And uh, using this information, probabilities are assigned to the different conditions of the structure. And uh, this can be uh, represented by the uh, P prime set J. It is the prior prob uh, probabilities. And after setting uh, utilities of these possible action state combinations, the expected uh, utility corresponding to the different uh, actions can be calculated. And you can see from this uh, figure, uh, it is a reduced decision tree. Since there is only a generic information and uh, no inspection outcomes, so this decision tree uh, starts with the action, uh, a set of possible actions uh, A, and followed by the possible condition, structural conditions uh, set, set J. And uh, if the asso associated utilities are assigned, then we can use this we can use this formula to calculate the expected utility of the action AI. And uh, where this E prime set denotes the is, uh, expectation operation with respect to the prior probabilities P prime set. And uh, consequently, uh, the decision analysis consists of the choosing the uh, uh, action a, which results in the uh, largest expected uh, utility U, and uh, yeah, this can be uh, represented with these two uh, formulas. Okay, next, uh, Professor.